All right, so got on the old Facebook early this morning, started browsing around, and this is what I typically do. I just browse around until something just kind of grabs me, and I'm able to get it. So pretty much, I found this one, HP 8200 Elite i7 for $25. Going through the pictures, looks pretty legit, not too bad. I messaged a seller, and he said that he had about five or six in stock, so I said, let me get two. I know some of you might say I should have gotten more, but I just kind of need to for right now. I got too much other stuff going on in the garage, but I digress. So for $25, that's actually a real good bang for the buck. And we'll, at the end of this video, we'll talk about why this is actually a really good price. So he's about 20, 25 minutes away. I'm going to grab it. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I do to pick them up, clean them, flip them, and make some easy money and everything that you guys might want to consider while doing this. So let's get going. Jump in the old tech truck this cold morning and let's get ourselves a computer. Got our two computers over here. We just finished our deal. So 50 bucks, we got two i7-2600 computers, which should make for a pretty decent gaming computer over here. So now we're gonna go get some breakfast, head back to the house, and then we'll talk about if these things work, what we're gonna do, and the value proposition of them. So let's get moving. All right, so it's actually been a couple of days since we picked this up. So we got two $25 each, these HP 8200s, 8200s and they are i7-2600s. Now, the CPUs alone on these are selling right now on the eBay for $50 to $60. So we could pop the CPUs out of here, flip these real quick, and recover our money that way. But I got two because, one, we're going to be doing some mods on it, and that's going to be in a later video, so definitely stay tuned on that one. And this one, we're going to do a nice budget build, flip it, see what kind of gaming performance we can get out of it, because we all seen in my last uh, one of my other videos that the 2600 is still very viable. So we're going to clean this up. Went to the local thrift stores, and guys, if you're needing mouse and keyboards, hit up your local thrift stores. I paid for two mouse, two keyboards, $10. I mean, that's not a bad deal at all and these oem keyboards are very durable they last and i guess they'll kind of fit the whole patina of this also at a at a local thrift store picked up this monitor for ten dollars yes this is 720p it's a vizio and it's more of um, a tv versus an actual gaming monitor but still to get your feet wet why not and it also adds adds to the value proposition of when you're trying to sell these budget gaming computers we got an ssd course a 240 a one terabyte mechanical drive and we'll talk about all these parts breakdown after we do the montage extra memory and of course our graphics card of choice the w4100 fire pro done a video on this great 1080p performance and these things are going for 30 dollars and compared to what we would love to have a 1650 a 1050 1050 ti this is the way to go considering that we're trying to build our budget bills so let's go ahead let's take this thing apart clean it up real good make this look pretty make all this look real nice pop this in here see what our gaming performance is and then we'll talk about some tips and tricks that i do for when i'm trying to sell these as long as and as well as trying to find them so let's get to let's get to building
All right, so our budget build is complete. And I gotta say, this thing, the i7-2600, I love this CPU, I love this platform, especially what they're going for, runs phenomenal. Paired it with this W4100 Fire Pro with two gigs of DDR5, and you're able to actually get some pretty decent gamings. The games that we played, CSGO, Fortnite, GTA 5, and even Rocket League, I mean, combination of 720p to 1080p, low high settings, we were able to average anywhere from 50 to 70 frames per second, just depending on the game and the settings that we were using on it. So how much did we pay into this? I'll put a tally up for it, but $25 for this computer, $30 for the graphics card, of course, $10 for a little memory, solid state drive, 120 gig, one terabyte hard disk drive, and we got about $20 into there, not to mention that we paid $5 for these mouse and keyboard, $10 for this monitor, so we're probably into this thing roughly $90 to $100, and guys, that's good profit, bang for the buck, because this computer will easily sell for $300 and make somebody a decent gaming computer. So with the holidays fastly approaching, a lot of people are just looking for entry-level gaming computers to get their feet wet. And this platform still has some room, because if we pop in a little 1650 action over here, we definitely could get a lot more frames per second and a good gaming performance. Now, tips and tricks to consider if you guys are trying to do this. Number one, the Facebook marketplace, eBay, it's hit or miss. It's a gamble, and the prices are just all over the place. I mean, one week, they're in the lows the next week they're in the highs and from what i understand there's actually some cpu mining crap going on and the used market might just go to crap right now just because the supply and demand but that's the name of the game as far as your peripherals over here go ahead and just wipe them down make them real clean get into them get all the nasty crap and crevices over it and something that i like to do too is use a little bit of wd-40 after i wipe it after I clean it, use a little WD-40 to kind of give it a little shine, let it dry up. And these things look brand new and look 20 times better than before. And the same thing for our monitor. Yes, this is not no 1080p high refresh rate monitor, but for somebody looking for a $300 entry level gaming computer, this is perfect. And then plus we, make to, we get to make a good profit over it. So guys, let me know your thoughts on this one. The i7-2600 with this HP 8200 SFS, awesome, awesome, awesome little computer. Of course, I prefer the Z240, but for what we paid for this, I think we did pretty well. And you guys, you definitely want to stay tuned because we have the second one over here, and um, I think we're going to be doing some mods on it. And I got a couple of things going, so definitely stay tuned for that. So if you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're not, and as always, we'll see what we come up with next.